My fellow Zimbabweans, I come before you with a heavy heart, a heart that is in mourning. I come before you with my head bowed in gratitude for the love and patience you have shown us for the past few months since we came into the eye of a storm caused by COVID-19. A highly infectious virus that has taken a good number of our loved ones. It was in January 2020 that we were all warned about this virus that was first discovered in China. By now, we, we may all have experienced the devastating effects of it through the loss of loved ones. The World Health Organization has classified COVID-19 as a pandemic and has issued numerous warnings about its effects. More than that, they've issued guidelines that if we observe, we may be spared the pain and agony of sickness and in other cases, death. Our hospitals are full of the sick and our morgues are full of the dead. Our colleagues on the front line in the health sector are doing all they can to save lives. Sometimes their efforts are not rewarded, resulting in loss of lives, and this has happened on occasions too numerous to mention. Each time this has happened, morgues have borne the brunt, which is why I'm talking to you today. I implore you all, fellow countrymen, to observe the World Health Organization guidelines as well as those issued by our government so we can be safe and avoid infection. Because there have been many deaths, the end-of-life industry has been under immense pressure, resulting in delays all around. The removal of our dead to the custody of the end-of-life service providers has been slow. Where ordinarily they took a couple of minutes, delays have been up to hours in some cases in recent times. Burial of our loved ones have been delayed in some cases by a day or two. In other cases, we have not been given definite burial times. This all because of the pressure your service providers have been experiencing. Before the onset of the pandemic, which we knew was coming, we made preparations that include but not limited to increasing our fleet size of both aces and buses. We doubled the mortuary capacity and hired more people. Fellow Zimbabweans, all this has in some cases fallen short and may continue to fall short as more of our countrymen and women succumb to this cruel virus. I would like to thank you for the love and patience shown to us so far. I urge all of you, my fellow countrymen and women, to continue to exercise patience and restraint as we may have the temptation to be harsh with our service providers where service delivery could be slow. Before we become harsh and angry, we must remember that our service providers are human beings who themselves are susceptible to the virus also. They too have family and relatives who may have died some of them are at work only because it is their calling even when they were down only recently and rushed back to work to save. Because we have so many dead, mistakes such as body swaps may be made. Fellow countrymen and women, I want you to know that this is not deliberate. Don't we all make mistakes? If we do, why do we think a mistake by someone working in the end-of-life industry, especially in a pandemic situation, is unforgivable. I know Zimbabwe is to be tolerant and loving, and it is to this our better angels I am appealing. As we plead to you for your love and tolerance, we pledge to do all we can to lay our loved ones to rest in dignity and with respect. In some countries, we have seen the burials of the COVID dead being done in mass graves because their service providers were overwhelmed. We saw this, and for an example, in 2020, when the USA resorted to mass graves for the burial of their COVID-19 dead. In April 2021, we witnessed India's worst wave of the spread of COVID-19, and they too buried their dead in mass graves. Thankfully, in Zimbabwe, we have not gotten to that stage, but let us not be complacent. 
The future is uncertain and we could very well get to that stage. Because we are still burying our dead the way we are and we have always died, I humbly ask you to be patient as we continue to give our loved ones the dignified burials they deserve and which we have grown to know and appreciate. I sincerely hope that we will remain your service provider of choice today, tomorrow and always. Please remember to continue to wear your mask, socially distance, wash your hands frequently and most importantly, get vaccinated. We are all in this together and we will get through it. I thank you all, fellow Zimbabweans.